Hi, I'm Louise Fletcher and I help artists to find their own unique creative voice. Today I want to talk to you about wasting materials and why I want you to waste as much material as possible. I totally get it, it's expensive to make our work. We've all had those moments when we look at a pot of paint and physically flinch. Have you seen how much gold and paints cost at the moment? Unbelievable. So I totally get it, it's scary to use that money. But here's the thing, as artists, we can't grow unless we're truly willing to take risks. And we can't take risks unless we're willing to use materials. And every single time that you try and play it safe, you end up with something safe. I know, because I do the same thing. So I run a community for artists called Art Tribe, and in there, members can ask me anything directly. And one of the most common questions will go something along these lines. I want to make art that feels free and adventurous and exciting, but I don't like to waste paint. And those two things are not compatible. One cancels out the other. Either you're going to be adventurous and free, or you're going to be careful with paint. You can't be both. And the piles of disastrous messes in my studio back this up. In fact, I should have taken a photograph just the other day. A giant pile of old messes works on paper were put on a bonfire because it was time to clear them out. So I make a lot of mess and I waste a lot of materials. I don't think I could make paintings that people want to buy unless I made all those messes. I don't see how it's possible. Not on any kind of consistent level. I can make the occasional good painting by accident, but I couldn't do it consistently. I think one of the things that gets in our way with this is in most walks of life, we get recipes. Like if you want to learn to cook, there's a recipe. You follow it, you get a result. So we think it's wasting food if we get the recipe wrong. But imagine being an artist is more like trying to be a master chef. Master chefs don't follow recipes, they create the recipe. And in order to create the recipe, they have to make a lot of meals that don't work before they find the exact right combination of flavors that will become their recipe. They have to waste food in order to make the great recipe that, that becomes their signature dish. So I hope you get what I'm saying. We're the same as that person trying to be the chef, but every single time, because we never get to make a recipe that can be followed again. So we always have to be using our materials. Now, this doesn't mean that you need to use a 60 pounds tub of golden paint on experiments. I certainly don't. But it also doesn't necessarily mean to buy the cheapest thing. It means to buy what you can afford. So it's a bit of a gray area, but what I'm saying is, I know for some people you can't splash out on paint, but whatever you can afford, think of this as an important thing you're doing because it is, and not as a flippant waste of money, which is I think how some of us sometimes see it. So some of the things I do is, I use System 3 paint a lot. This is a fairly inexpensive paint. It comes in these nice big tubs. It's here in the UK. I don't think it's worldwide, but it's really good pigment load and almost every color. It's nice consistency. I like it. And also it's quite heavy body so I can use a lot of medium in it and extend it to last quite a long time. So this is a really good paint for experiments. I've heard good things about Nova paints in the US, although I have no personal experience. And I'm sure in other countries there are other alternatives. So explore the alternatives. Even cheaper than that, you can use house paint. And some DIY stores in some parts of the world I know sell tester pot sizes or, or pots of paint that people ordered and then didn't want. And those can be a really great way to get different colors. Or you can just go in and have them mix you up colors. I mean, it was good enough for Jackson Pollock a lot of the time. It's good enough for you. I often work as well on paper when I'm experimenting. So I work on wood panels like the one behind me and that can be used over and over again. And if it gets too thick with paint, it can be sanded all the way back and I can start again. So that's a great material for this kind of work. But when I'm really exploring and experimenting, I use a, a cheap cartridge paper, which is what we in Britain call drawing paper. The one I buy is from Sea White and it's 220 GSM. It takes a lot of paint and you can buy it in big packs. Again, find an equivalent 
that you can work with. I tested a lot of papers before I found that one. Most of my brushes are hardware store brushes, although I do have some nice ones, but often I use hardware store brushes. I keep my costs down so that I can feel free to be loose and experiment. If you really are struggling and you, you financially, you just can't afford to use a lot of paint, you need to be able to be free in order to explore your creativity. So use a cheaper way of creating for now. Maybe collage from found papers, maybe pencils and charcoal. Find something that you can do and you can really dive into and explore rather than buying little tubes of paint and being really skimpy with them because that won't get you anywhere and it'll just be frustrating. So I think that the fear of waste comes up for most of us at some time or another, it still rises up for me. And I know it's stronger in some of us than others, depending on our upbringing. So if you were brought up really strictly to never waste anything, this will be even more challenging for you. But those are other people's opinions and they're from different avenues of life than art and you need to learn to override them if you want to take your art where it needs to go. You deserve to do what you want to do. You are a valuable person. You deserve to explore your creativity. You deserve to do that just as much as your spouse deserves to ride a bike or get a season ticket for football or go fishing or any of the expensive hobbies that other people have. You deserve to explore your creativity and that costs money just like every other expensive hobby. I know for many of you it's not a hobby. In fact, it's more than a hobby. Brilliant. Even more reason why you need to spend money on it. So what I want to say is let's go, all of us, and commit to ourselves that we will waste materials, never a waste, so we can learn and grow and make our art better and better and add more and more beauty to the world because Lord knows the world needs beauty right now. As always, I'm going to tell you that I have a free Find Your Style guide. It's a PDF. If you haven't downloaded it yet, please do, because not only do you get the PDF guide, but you get a series of short videos going further into all the points that I introduce. And it's a really like a free course on how to find your own creative voice. Link is in the description for the video on YouTube. It's in the post on Facebook. It's in my bio if you're watching this on Instagram. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.